everyone, welcome to the Sam Livecast. I'm back from South Africa, uh, not exactly caught up on my sleep yet, and not caught up on the livecast. But next week, both semis will play. Monday, brand new show. Friday, brand new show. Wednesday, brand new show. It's all new stuff next week. We'll have lots of fun, great food. Like the shout out to our sponsors, Perch, theperch.com. Go check them out. Kitchen, bath, outdoor. New name, even more amazing than before when they were fixtures living. And We All Of. Check them out at weallof.com. Buy something. Put my name in the little checkout box. My name is Sam. Get 10% off anything you order. They're amazing, as are these two. Haley and Lucky. Haley, look up. There you go. Lucky, there you go. All right. See you. Sit there. Sit back. Relax. Watch the show. See ya. Welcome to the Sam Livecast. It's Wednesday night. It's day five. Five of Hanukkah. And it's Hanukkah week. And tonight we're making potato latkes. Potato pancakes for those of you that might know what a latke is. But how you've gotten to whatever age you are in 2012 and don't know that a latke is basically a potato pancake, I don't really know. Okay, so now based on what you just said, I have a question. Yes. I want to know if there's anybody out there in Facebook world that has never heard of a potato latke. Tell us if that's if you're that person. That's interesting. I okay. think I had half of them here last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna make these. They're gonna be. I'm gonna try something a little different, just because I I I, I usually grate them. And uh, and here's what they are. They're onions. They're potato. The little bit of flour and some egg. And and that's about it. And you grate them and you cook them in oil. And we talked about why oil is significant. Um, on the live cast Monday night, why it figures prominently into the Hanukkah uh, celebration, um, but but I forgot what I was gonna say. Is it just me or is there something weirdly satisfying about peeling vegetables? Oh no, there is. There Getting is. All that skin off. Is yeah, no, I like it. <laughs> uh, so here's the deal. So we're actually cooking in oil tonight because that's that then brings back the whole point of Hanukkah. That the oil that was spilled in the big temple battle way back when lasted not one day but for eight days and nights. And so now we celebrate by cooking things in oil. So Sam, I actually got a weird question. I don't think I've ever asked yeah, you. Yeah, go this, ahead. But do vegetable peelers ever get dull? And do you have to replace them? I've never replaced one. You know what? I think they do, Lynn. I remember the sort of the metal handled ones of my mom's era. And I remember using one that basically did nothing. And I think they do get dull. I think it's like anything. You peel enough potatoes or carrots or rutabagas or squash or whatever you're peeling. At some point, that little bitch is going to get uh, not sharp anymore. What's a rutabaga? It's a root. Oh, that's a car. A car? <laughs> that's oh, a. She's thinking about a Winnebago. I think. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? Excuse me, while I pick up, excuse me while I pick up some potato peel. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Studebaker? <laughs> All right, so here's what this is this is potato that's grated. And I've already said I'm not going to grate it. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm just going to. I'm going to throw it into the machine and let the machine do it. In this case, the machine is a processor. There it is. Don't they have like a, the, the discs that do that for you? They do have the disc, but um, here's what, I don't know if this is going to work. What I'm trying to do is not shred it. I want to see if I can get it a little more fine. Huh. So oh, like, and I'm going perfect. to right. So this is this. I'll tell you why this is going to work for me. I find the um, shredded potatoes uh, a little unruly. And I, look, I'm going to get. There's going to be Jews. They're going to say I'm you know, going against everything that the religion stands for. And a shredded potato latke is the only way to be. And who do I think I am? And I'm changing the rules of the religion. And 
Well, if you're Jew and you're outraged, go to Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. Oh, God, please don't. <laughs> That's please. right. By the way. I eat pork, too, so... Oh, gosh. If you're going to get on my case for something, get on my case for the pork. Don't get on my case for this. We eat a lot of pork in this house. We do. And once again, here's what I believe. I believe God says it's more important what's in your heart than is what in your stomach. Than what's in your stomach. Okay, so look what I've done. I've shredded these potatoes. I have to do one thing with them. And that's get the moisture out. And I, you might not see it right here. But you'll see it in a second. If I put all the potato in here, well, I have to add onion too in a second. Hold on. Well, the Sam Livecast. I say uh, combo radio talk show and live cooking show. That's what this is. So right. this would be the live cooking part right now. And if something doesn't work, then hell, we just go with it. Because life is not Rachel Ray's TV show. <laughs> life is what really happens when you're cooking. Am I right? Absolutely. One of my favorite stories of trying to explain what Sam the Cooking Guy is was the time where you made a full pizza oh. as a segment on the TV show. And then at the end, you took a bite. And you said, this thing sucks. Do not make it. And you tossed it out. <laughs> right. What cooking show would ever do that? No, they would never do that. The producers well, would just say, all right, that's a waste of a segment. That, <laughs> means, that means they've tested everything first. Here's the way that I do this. And here's the way that this will mess up a towel. But, you know, that's why God invented washers. That's why you jars. have 3,500 towels. That's why I have 3,500 mm -hmm. towels. Yeah, you do. Okay, so watch. Here's what you don't want. Looks like a giant bed of minced garlic, man. Yeah. Doesn't it? This is heavy. See, look at, see the moist, look at, yeah. I'm not even doing anything yet. You see what's coming out? Yeah. This is death to a potato pancake. The juice? Yeah, because the point of a potato pancake is to have it crispy. Yeah. And what? when you shred a potato, either by hand or, or uh, by machine, like I've just done, you want to get this liquid out. I'm not going to, I didn't know that potatoes well, had that much You didn't water. know this? I don't know they had that much water. That's crazy. Pay attention, Master Chef. You might need to know this one day. Without mm -hmm. sounding super dumb, yeah. what is that actual cloth that you buy that you use cheese for cloth. that cheesecloth? You can. <laughs> I just Look didn't at, remember that. Of course, you can do this. You can go out and you can buy yourself an expensive, they're not expensive, but a special cloth just for this. Or you can use whatever towel you have sitting around your house. And this is the way to go. This won't work with paper towel, by the way. Look at your muscles, Sam. Okay, so here, look at. <laughs> I just, I want all this liquid out of here, right? Okay, so now we've got this. Now we can add the potatoes back in. They sound totally different now. Yeah, because they're they're right, they sound dry, right? Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, now I need the onion. Half an onion or one small onion. This was kind of a big onion. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Onion doesn't have the same kind of uh, moisture level, so I don't need to worry about that. So you're just going to let that kind of go to... Well, I was, I was hoping to get there faster, but it's okay. Pulverize. But it's okay. So there's going to be two eggs that are going to go in here. That we're going to mix. Nice. And now this onion, I'll just uh, give it one more turn in the thing. I'll just brush it down the sides. Nice. Honestly, you could use any onion. It wouldn't matter. White, yellow, brown, or even red would be fine in this. It's not that big a deal. Equal opportunity onion people here. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Onion. Did you just throw, throw the blade, actually? Yeah, into the sink? You threw the blade? Yeah, into the sink. Yeah, but... Not at anybody. There was nobody no, there. I know that, but that's not good for your blade. You're so scared. <laughs> uh, salt, pepper, little flour, little uh, baking... Powder? Powder. 
Where am I going here? That's in the cupboard. Salt. For anybody who was wondering what he was just looking at. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. No, it was the other one. Oh. There, potatoes, oh. onion, eggs. Teaspoon baking powder. It's actually really handy. Everybody should have a writable right. door on their kitchen. I know it's good, right? Teaspoon of this, which I don't have a spoon there. By the way, for anybody who's noticed, it's Wednesday night, oh. but for us, it's really Monday night. No. Oh. oh, come on. We've been had. They're smart enough. <laughs> no, it's true. Cause this is uh, uh, really Wednesday night, which is tonight. I have uh, 40 people here, 30, 32 people here for a private event. So I couldn't be here tonight, but we didn't want to ditch you on another live cast because we were all away last week. So we it's were recording this year. after. It's a busy time of year. We're recording this after Monday nights. Yep. Does Kelly's, that make even sense? Kelly's wearing yeah. the same thing. We're all wearing the same thing. I'm wearing the same so thing. So two tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, two eggs, salt, pepper, two potatoes, and a small onion or half an onion. And now this part, and there's no good way to do this. So I'll just do it with my hands. That looks messy, man. It does look messy. But you know what? I might as well go both. You think oh, this God. is messy? Wait till he starts frying those puppies. Yeah, oh, by the way, so here's the thing. Okay, these are gonna be amazing. I can tell you right now, the whole grading system for me, has just gone out the window. Out the window in favor of this processor thing that I just so did. much time saved. Yeah. Well, but it's but but wait till you see how they're going to cook. They're going to cook really nicely. Okay. It's gross, right? Have you gone a year without making latkes ever? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, we, we always, always make do. them. Under in fact, duress. I used to make them at the kids' preschool. Uh, when they were little, I would go and I'd make latkes in their class. Yeah, fun. Okay, so here's the deal. We have to cook these in oil, which is the whole point of Hanukkah, basically. But it stinks the hell out of the house. I, I don't really dig it. In fact, it's not that I don't really dig it. I don't like it at all. I do not like the smell of a house with cooking oil. I don't deep fry here. That's why I bake things. I bake things because I believe that I, I don't. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to cook in oil. I don't want to deep fry. So we're, we have to deep fry these things or cook them in some amount of oil. But here's where we're going to do it. Outside. We have an intro. We can run. Well, we have an intro. We could run. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's run the intro. Thank you for that. And then we'll cook these guys outside. All right, so here we are. Um, I, I don't know what to call this. We'll call this um, ghetto latkes because we're, <laughs> we're outside. Yeah. And I can only hope that, that the smell from here doesn't, doesn't travel the five feet to the house. Let me put it this way. This is the first time we've ever done like <laughs> outside, outdoors, in the dark cooking <laughs> right okay so look at look how beautiful this is right it's the tom uh, the potato the onion the salt pepper flour the egg and stuff right i prefer small um latkes like little guys little silver dollar size as opposed to you know big sort of flat hockey pucks i don't want those so i'm just gonna take a little bit right here same thing with pancakes and i'm gonna put it in exactly right and that's what you want you want that sizzling all, all the way around the edges. Beautiful. That tells you that you got a good temperature going. The thing about oil, and I feel like we've chatted about this, if it's not hot enough, that's when the oil um, gets sucked into whatever it is you're cooking. French fries are really not that unhealthy as long as they're cooked at the right temperature because then they sear 
and they seal up on the outside. Uh, when it comes to cooking something in a low temperature oil, that's when the oil soaks up uh, with the item, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm just going to make four. Sweet. Nice. I used to do this in my garage back in the day. That's got to be all sorts of preschool classrooms. Yeah. My, in preschool classrooms and stuff. I hope this is not too hot. I see a lot of browning going on. Well, you're outside. It's pretty cold outside, right? Uh, it's it cool. It's cold definitely cool shit. out here. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. freezing. It's definitely cool out here. I feel like I need a um, like a spatula. Thing. Oh, here, let me uh, grab one. Uh, okay. You know what? No, no. I'm just gonna use my spoon. I'm gonna use my spoon. Why mess up something else? Right. Just let me look at the bottom of these guys. They look like they're cooking real well. Oh, those are oh like my ready God. to turn. They're freaking beautiful. I can't believe how fast they're going. Well, I did have the oil a little bit warm, but now I've turned it down a bit, and now I need to turn it back up a bit more. And that's what frying's kind of all about. You got to control the heat, right? Right. I mean, look at it. If it was an automatic thing, like in a restaurant, the temperature would be universal in the thing, and I wouldn't have to worry about that, but it's not really what I have going on here. And these are all different sizes. The big difference between what I've done by um, uh, cutting these potatoes and the onions in the processor, as opposed to hand grating them, there aren't the long little strings that stick out of the edges. And i got to tell you something. I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. Okay, let me see what this guy looks like. Check this guy out, Max. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yikes. Okay, that's hot. <laughs> I could have something else okay, here. Okay, I, I, I was going to get you a spatula. No, I don't need a spatula. I just need that. Okay, they are perfect. Yeah, these are beautiful I think that's the perfect amount lockers. of browning, I feel like. I think this guy's probably not ready yet, but... Those are beautiful potato latkes. Okay, this is my new system. Outside? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, yes, outside because of the smell. Uh, but also... This processor thing. There's a version of this that you can do with mashed potatoes. Previously mashed potatoes that you add a bunch of onion and that kind of stuff cut up to. But this is really, I think, the way to go. At least tonight it's the way to go. I hear you guys talking in there about She's something. about your button being undone. <laughs> oh. oh, God. It's okay, man. Why do I have to? No, that's what, that's what it's all about, man. Wait. Help me understand wow. that, Lynn. Yeah. How was having a button undone what it's all about? It's real, man. Well, it is real, that's for sure. <laughs> you don't have any makeup artists here, it's you. No, tell me, I'll never tell you what we're going to put on top of these. Oh. Applesauce? So when I did these at Fixtures Living, fixtureslivingcom or on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living, kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy, best place in the world for all things kitchen, bath, appliances, kitchen things that, you know, faucets and sinks, because those aren't appliances, and bathroom toilets and, and, and drains, floor drains and, and everything. When I made these at Fixtures Living, I did um, sour cream, which for me is a requirement. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people like applesauce on latkes. I hate applesauce, so I'm not doing any of that. Um, I did locks, chopped up locks, on top, and a little dill. I bought a lox, just Kelly and I wanted a little lox and bagel the other day. I bought a lox that already had a dill and pepper um, sort of uh, cured into it. So that's what I've got. I'm going to chop a little bit of that up and put that on top of the... Mm -hmm. The sour cream is going to be so delicious. Oh my God. I love these. See how we're doing. We're doing good. Okay. I'm going to let these just finish for another couple of minutes, Max. Mm -hmm. Like two more minutes. Just the heat a little bit more. Can we go inside for a quick second? Oh yeah. Okay, let's go inside. You were going to bring them in? No, I'm going to go inside, cut the locks. Okay. And then we'll be ready to come back out. You good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of precarious. This is not a system that we're used to doing. 
And that was just a really ugly shot. Not, not. I'm not blaming anybody. No, that was fine. I'm just saying. That you was didn't, fine. You didn't see yourself there. <laughs> no, my terrible camera wasn't the thing. being held. Okay, so look, paper towels don't need any more. Oil don't need any more. Do a little green onion. So here's this locks. Look it. Oh. Wow. Look so at that with like pepper. Wow. And um. And uh, dill already. That's like peppercorn. No, locks. it's like well, it's like peppered. It's like peppered uh, logs uh, with dill. Wow. So just a little bit of this will go on top. And the other only other thing we want is a little, you know, me and my green onion, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't help myself. I just love the frickin' green onion. So we'll just chop some of this fine. We don't blame you. Really, I think it's one of my like favorite things. Oh yeah. It's almost fetish like. <laughs> but not in a creepy no, um, no, not at all. Icky sexual sort of way. Are you sure about I that? I just one? mean yes. Okay, I've never, you went from bad to worse. <laughs> I've never done anything weird with green onion. Okay. Kelly, okay. have I? I think whenever you have to declare <laughs> that it's not a creepy sexual thing, you're losing. Then it's an issue. <laughs> then it's an issue? Yes. Yeah. It's called denial. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> denial. Right. Hang on. Watch out, dogs. Are they behind Hanukkah. Me? They're both. Look, at, look down here. One. There he is. Hi, oh. lefty. Look at the oh. little head. Hey, buddy. No. Hi, Bucci face. Oh, okay. Geez. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these guys out now. I'm going to kill this. Oh, get it oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Uno. Dos. Tres. You can see how crispy they are. Okay, that's off. This is good. Here we go. And here's how I would like to serve these. I will take this little, this little guy right here. We're gonna put one of them on. Watch, Max, watch, 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 watch. Look how glorious this is. You oh, know what? Smell glorious. I bet you Max's cranberry stuff would be amazing oh. on that too. For Sour sure cream. it would. Hey, we're not talking about Max right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about this. Look at this. Yes. I just want to show you how interested he is out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, he looks fine right now. By the way, did you notice? That um, my little burner was on my cutting board on top of a tall garbage can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's my system. We try to hide that with the first setup. Ghetto latkes, that's what we're calling them. And a little green onion. Hey, if these are ghetto latkes, I want everything ghetto. I know, check that out. Nice. Holy crap. How beautiful is that? And then a little fork. See how crispy that thing is. Oh. Forget the fork then. Wait, let me just get a little bit of this all over the whole thing. That's what I'm Can talking you hear about. That? I heard the crunch. That's what I'm talking about. Holy F. Okay. This is my new favorite laka. Processed sour cream, peppered dill lox, green onion. That's what I'm talking about, bitch. Sorry, that was inappropriate, but mm, so good.